Hello everyone, and welcome back to a story about my uncle. Bet you thought I forgot about this game, didn't you? You did. You all did. I know you were thinking it. Um, yes, it went on hiatus. Um, mainly because I had like an awkward pause between uh, this, or between the last game I played and then Rise of the Tomb Raider, which I was super excited to play. Um, I am trying to figure out which direction I'm supposed to be going right now, so just, uh, give me a moment. Uh, no. <laughs> oh, oh god. Um, but yeah, it took me a moment to relearn the controls. It puts me here, so I'm thinking I need to go this way instead, so why don't we try doing that? Um. Oh gosh. No. I remember us having trouble with where we were. Um, but yeah, I have not forgotten about this game. I would very much like to be able to complete this game. Um, oops. <laughs> I just walked off the edge. Um, I'd very much like to be able to complete this game. The big problem is just that I'm not quite sure how to get where I want to go right now. <laughs> this glove needs a larger range. It upsets me that it doesn't have one. So I think I need to do like the long jump, which we do by holding down this and this. Come on! I I'm doing everything I can right now. Yes. Okay, this works. Um, I'll take it. I think this is where I'm supposed to be going. This game doesn't really tell you a lot of things. Oh, what's this? Oh, this is like a save point, right? I think so. Um, okay. It has been a very, very long time since I've played this. I will give you that. There we go. Um, can I get up here? No, not really. I hope this is where I was supposed to go. Oh. You look like you might be helpful. You look like you might be the only thing I can grab onto. Okay, got it. Alright, come on, let's, let's land it! Come on, yes! Okay, I didn't die. I forget you can't take fall damage in this game because you have, like, the suit that's protecting you. Um... So, we're still just trying to figure out what on earth our uncle was doing out here. We've taken our suit, and now we're out here. Um, but yeah. So, I it took me like a good five minutes to relearn the controls for this game, because they are a little strange. Um, but I did it! Because <laughs> I also, I don't like not finishing games for you guys. I want to finish games for you. Oh, I thought I wasn't gonna make it. Alright, there's a crystal. Can I collect it? You found a second power core. You can now grapple two times before landing. <gasps> That's so cool. Okay, we are going in the right direction because we found a new thing. But yeah, I do, I don't, I don't like leaving games unfinished. I only do that if, you know, I really can't stand the game. Oh god. I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> so I said, like... Oh god, no, I didn't want to do it here. I forgot that we had the bridge. Oh, so scatterbrained with this game right now. So you can just jump over here. You don't even need to grapple. Grappling, not to try it. Thank you. 
Alright, that worked. I'm not quite sure how that helped me. It, like, slung shot me up. So I'll take it, but... So we just need to jump. Oh, okay. On my hand. So I guess we get three grapples at one point. Oh, save point. Right? I think that's what this is. Okay. Oh. Let's see. <laughs> okay. I need to do better. Oh, I can already grapple to that. Okay. No. Where did we find this magical cavern anyway? No. I did it perfect. Come on. This game is a little annoying in that regard. That you can like feel like you've done everything perfectly and you you're not quite there. Come on, come on, come on, please, 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 yes! Got it. Okay. Let's jump up here. Oh. We have a choice? We don't usually get choices in this game. Over here? Well, that wasn't really much of a choice. There we go. So we have like these things. I can grapple to them and stand on this, but I'm not sure that that really helps me. Oh lord. I'm stuck. Come on, let me down. I wish to go down. Okay, we said and die. Those little marks are everywhere now. There we go. The momentum in this game is very strange. Alright. Where are we going? I think we're going up. Yes. I think uh, this would be a correct guess by me. Oh boy. I hate the moving ones. I'm so bad at them. So we need to get over there. There's a second moving one we have to get to. I'm like inside the rock right now. Nope. Oh boy. Oh boy. No, I guess I wasn't close enough. Oh, I'm so bad with the moving ones. Okay. Oh, yes, we got it. We got it. I just need to make sure that I get over here. Oh, yes. No. Okay. We're all right. Oh, I thought we were going to just slide off, and I was like, no, please, I work so hard. All right. Save point. So it looks like another double. Oh. This game is very pretty. No, please. Please, I don't want to die. <laughs> Honestly, uh, the game's graphics was what initially uh, drew me to it. I really liked I really liked the way that it looked uh, 
I'm barely even traveling forward, but at least I traveled forward enough. So there are little secrets that you can find, like this, in the game, of course. Um. Did you ever see any of Fred's experiments yourself? Yes. I actually helped him collect samples for his research sometimes. To learn about them? That's right. We found all sorts of things. One time, we went to the forest and found a small pool of water that was full of eggs. Eggs? Were there chickens in the forest? No, not chicken eggs. These were small and jelly-like. Like Hundreds of them. Fred told me that they were frog eggs. He was in for a surprise, though. Guess what happened? What? What happened? Well, we took some eggs back home, and one day, Fred woke up with bites all over his body. That does not sound Turns fun. out, it wasn't frog eggs after all. It was mosquito eggs. Oh, poor Fred. Those you know, mosquito eggs? He did find real frog eggs eventually. He told me that they were very, very special, but I don't know what happened to them. Oh, are they out here? Well, they, they're dead. You took them out of the water. Okay. So you just get to find, like, extra pieces of the story. This whole game is premised on we're telling a bedtime story to a daughter, I believe, about our uncle. So... We're just trying to traverse through this place. And um, we're playing in the part of the father. And this is happening in the past. As he's recalling the story to his daughter. Oh no, I'm traveling away from it. Oh, but I can get here like this. That's fine. I am fine with this. Sometimes I feel like I'm going around in circles in this game because everything looks kind of the same and I'm not making any progress. But then you find another one of these and you're like, no, I must be alright. Yes, okay. But this was already there. What's confusing also is that the marks that you're seeing were left by the uncle. And I'm like, well, I really wish that those would go away so that I could only see where I'd been. Because that would be more helpful than seeing where the uncle's been. Because now I'm worried that I've already been there and that I'm going in circles again. This, however, does look new. So, yay. Hmm. These blue lights. Did oh. Fred put them here? Christmas lights, they're so or pretty. Was somebody else here as well? Oh no, my hand is gone. What has happened? Oh, we're loading. New area? I guess so. Yeah. Nothing behind me now. Only forward into Christmas time. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at this, guys. Welcome to Christmas land. So pretty. Okay. As always, you gotta figure out where you're going. This almost looks like a town. Oh my goodness, Hello. there is a person. Who are you? I am confused. You're not from here. No. Wow, you look just like Fred, but smaller and with less hair on your face. I am Fred's she nephew. Fred. You I are an interesting that person. And that I was looking for him. What's an uncle? I said that he was, that I had known him all my life. Really? Me too. I'll help you find him. I'm a little creepy, the Madeline. The others call me Mad Maddie sometimes. I don't know why, really, but you can call me Maddie. All right, Maddie. You've never been to the village, right? Let's meet over there in the square. I'll show you around. It is I a bet town. You can get there easily with your suit thing. So, I'll see you there. I couldn't believe it. An underground village inhabited by frog people. Or more like salamanders. Can we talk about how Maddie just like way, fell all the way down? They walked like humans. They talked
talked like humans. How was that possible? Well, there's no way straight over to the square. But she just like jumped down into the abyss. Are, are we gonna ignore that? Like, she jumped straight down into the abyss. I watched her go. She did not change course. She just fell into the fog. So, I mean... I'm not sure that she's still alive. That's all I'm saying. She might have some special powers that I do not know about, though. Maybe she flies later, but... Oh gosh, I can make it. Yes! I almost want to think that I'm getting better at this. Um, I think we need to run here. Nope. Hmm. Do we need to get to that? Maybe. Oh, yes. Oh, no. I grappled to the side of the rock. Okay, but that is what we need to do. We figured that out. That is better. We've grappled onto the rock. Alright, are we getting close to the square now? Kind of looks like we might be. Yes, this looks like a town. Entrance to hey. a town. Hey? Hey? Over here! Oh lord. Oh, there you are. Hi. Welcome to my village. This is the town square. And that over there is Fred's tent. I haven't seen him in a few days, though. Maybe our elder Samuel knows where he is. He knows a lot of stuff. Mostly boring stuff, if you ask me. But it's worth a try. Before asking him, though, you should check out the village. It's not so bad. Unless you have to stay for too long. No. When you're done, go to the island with the windmill. And you'll see Samuel's cove from there. I'll go on ahead and tell him that you're coming. He's not much for surprises. Later. Bye, Maddie. I thanked Madeline and agreed to meet her later. It was strange. How could I talk to someone who was not even human and still feel like it was perfectly normal? Can we talk to any of the other people? Oh my goodness, I forget how powerful my jump is. Right, how would I? They look like they're made of, like, fabric. They look like dolls. Look like animatronics. Maybe they are animatronics. Maybe Maddie's the only real one. I don't know though. All right, so we need to go this way. Oh, pretty moon. Um, oh, and a pretty flower. Yeah, these guys all look like animatronics. I don't think we can interact with them in any way at all. Um, but anyway, guys, I think that's going to do it for this episode of A Story About My Uncle. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And as always, I'm the Purple Pegasus, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye